In this video, we are going to talk about OS.walk and Python programming language using examples and details. So please stay tuned. Now, in order to move along with this video, you need a zip file like this. Of course, you can create it by yourself. You can create the files and folders, which I'm going to talk about by yourself. But I think it's a easy way of doing it to download this zip file which the link of this zip file is in the description below. So after downloading this zip file, so first of all, you should extract the zip file. And after that, you can delete this zip file because we don't need it anymore. And here you can see that I have folders and files. So as you can see in my H drive, I have created a folder which is called YouTube. And inside this folder, I have created two folders, folder 01, folder 02. And also there is a text file, which is called YouTube-01. It means this is in the YouTube folder and it is the first file. So it is called 01. That's it. But now if I open the folder 01, you can see that inside this folder, we have two files, which are called 01 and 02. And again, this prefix means it is in folder 01. And this is the first file in the folder 01. This is the second file. This is the name convention I've used for, for specifying the folders, which the files are in that folder. So if I go to folder two, you can see that inside folder two, we have another folder, which is called folder 03. And also we have two files, two text files. And if I open the folder three, so you can see that inside that we have a picture and also two text files. That's it. So in order to get a better insight, please look at these pictures. So as you can see, for example, suppose that this is the main path, which is that YouTube folder I have created in my H drive. And you can see in this folder, I mean the YouTube folder, I have created two folders and a text file. And inside this folder 01, I have created two text files. And inside this folder 02, I have created a folder and two text files. And inside this folder 03, I have created a image and also two text files. So this is the structure of our folders and files for this example. So now we want to talk about OS.walk and Python. So first of all, I should import the OS package, which is operating system. And then I want to define a variable, let's say called main, which is going to be our main path. So for example, here, this is our main path. So I copy that. And because this is the this is the main folder, I mean this is the main path which we want to use. So I pass that into a string, and remember to put R before this string because if you don't put R, you should convert all the backslashes to two backslashes, or you should convert all the backslashes to slashes. And if I if you, and if you don't want to do that, you can put R before this string. It means raw text. It means consider this as it is. And now I want to use os.walk, so I simply type os.walk, and I pass the main variable, which is the main path, which is the path that we want to walk through, we want to go further. So now if I print this, so let's print this, and if I run the code, you can see here is the result, which is an object, which is a generator object. So as you can see, we cannot see the content in the os.walk. So in order to see the output clearly, let's print list of, let's print list of this. So if I run the code, you can see now here is the output. So as you can see, I've made the output a little bit smaller in order to explain the output better. So as you can see, we have printed list of os.walk. So here we have a list containing different tuples. So you can see this is the first tuple, this is the second tuple, and this is the third tuple, and this is the fourth or let's say last tuple. But what are these tuples? It means that, for example, if you go to the main path H YouTube, I mean in my H drive and in a folder called YouTube, which is the main path. So this is the path. This is the first path we are going to, we are walking into. So this is the path. And inside this path, we have a couple of directories. So this is the list of directories inside this path. So we have two directories inside this path, folder 01 and folder 02. And also inside this path, we have one file. It is called YouTube-01. So remember that in these two poles, the first argument is the path and the second argument is the directories inside this path. 
and the third argument is the files available inside that path. But now let's go further. Let's walk into folders and see what's going on inside those folders. So if you go further, if we walk into folder 01, you can see now here is the path because we have walked into this folder. So inside this folder, we don't have any directories. So the list of folders is empty. The list of directories is empty. So we don't have any folders inside this path. But we have a couple of files. So these are the files available in this path and folder one, I mean. But now let's walk into folder two. If we walk into folder two, you can see here is the path. And inside this folder, we have a folder called folder 03. So inside this path, we have a we have one directory, which is folder 03. And also we have a couple of files, which you can see here. But now if you go further and let's say walk into folders three, you can see that here is the path of that folder. And inside this folder, we don't have any directories. So the list of directories is empty but we have some files in it. So this is the list of files inside this path. So if I want to summarize the results of os.walk, you can see that it returns a couple of tuples, which inside each tuple, which inside each tuple, you can see that it has three arguments. The first argument is the path or so-called root. The second argument is the list of directories and the third argument is the list of files available in that root and that path. So now with these explanations in mind, remember that we can use the for loop in order to see the roots, folders, and files. So as a matter of fact, beside looking at the output of the os.walk in this way, we can use another way as well. So we can use a for loop. So for every root, I mean every path, and every directories, so you can see that in, in, the, in, the, in these two poles, it has a couple of arguments. The first argument is the root or path, and the second argument is the directories available in that root, and the third argument is the files available in that root. So for root, directories, and files available in os.walk, and I want to pass the main variable. So now I want to print the root, I want to print the directories. I want to print the files. And let's print something like this in order to divide each root. So now if I run a code, you can see here is the output. For example, here, you can see that inside this YouTube folder, we have two directories and a text file. And now if we go further, if we walk into folder zero, you can, folder zero one, you can see that we don't have any directory but we have two files and if we go further and if we walk into a folder 02 we can see that here is the path here is the root and inside this root we have a folder we have a directory and also we have two files in it and if we go further and if we walk into this folder 3 you can see that here is the path and inside this path we don't this path we don't have any directories but we have a couple of files in it so now let's take this example. Suppose that from the main path, we want just the names of the folders, the folders, or let's say directories available in the main path. So we can see the names of folders are folder 01 and folder 02. So let's do it. So as you can see here, we have printed list of os.walk of main. And if I run a code, you can see here is the output. And as you can see, it consists a couple of tuples. And the first tuple is about the main path. And for example, so if I pass a zeroth element, it means that from this list, it means that from this list, which you can see here, I want to index to the first tuple, which this first tuple is about the main path. So I'm passing zeroth element. It means I want to index the zeroth element of this list. It means this tuple corresponding to the main path so if i run the if i run the code you can see here is the result but now if i want to index the, the folders available in main path so you can see that this is index zero this is index one and this is index two because as you know python starts counting at zero so this is index zero index one and index two so i want to index 
the value at index one, I mean the folders. So if I run the code, you can see here a list of folders available in the main path. And if I want a list of files in the main path, I should pass two. So if I run a code, you can see here is the list of files in the main path. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.